Yes, it's true. The Queensland Government will now pay you to catch coronavirus. Well, I've slightly modified the phrasing of that headline to make it sound a bit more sensationalist, but that's essentially what the Premier of Queensland, Anastasia Palaszczuk, had to announce on Friday 5th of June. Officially, it's called Hardship Payment for Casual Workers and Eligible Employees with Coronavirus COVID-19. It's a one-off payment of $1,500 from the 5th of June, which will be available over the next six months. But before you go out and start hugging random strangers, there are a few caveats. You must test positive to COVID-19 on or after the 5th of June 2020 and be required to self-isolate for a minimum of 14 days. You must be over 17 years of age. You must be a Queensland resident. You must not be receiving the JobKeeper payment or any other Australian government income support. If you have not tested positive but were required to quarantine for 14 days due to returning from overseas, interstate or for any other reason, you are not eligible for the payment. If you contract COVID-19 within your workplace, well, forget about it, you're also not eligible. And just one more point I'd like to make. In all of Australia, over the last 24 hours, there are only two new cases of COVID-19. The chances of catching coronavirus and meeting all of these strict eligibility requirements is pretty much slim to nil. I estimate that over the next six months, the Queensland Government will spend approximately zero dollars on this payment scheme. Or am I just being cynical? The scheme may as well be changed to Unite Against Bear Bite 19, Hardship Payment for Queenslanders Bitten by Bears, Bear Bite 19. This hardship payment from the Queensland Government is available for victims of bear bites in Queensland, as well as eligible drop bear attacks. Of course, Queenslanders bitten before the 5th of June are not eligible for this payment, as well as zoo employees and people bitten by koalas. So there you have it. The Queensland Government will now pay you to catch coronavirus, even though the chances of actually doing so and meeting all of the strict eligibility requirements is essentially zero.